Hi, this is William Jackson. Welcome to My Quest to Teach podcast. Uh, in this podcast, I'm going to talk about STEM and STEAM. If you're not familiar with the acronyms of STEM and STEAM, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. This is a national model to integrate cross-curriculum instruction so that students will have the opportunity to learn how to appreciate and use science in a way that meets their dynamics and the way that they learn. It also encourages students, particularly more minority students or students of color, to be more to be interested in the area of science. With the area of STEAM using technology, we all know that children, youth, teens, young adults, they gravitate towards all kinds of technology. And the technology aspect coincides with the science part where students are encouraged through project design, through collaboration and cooperation in small and large groups to integrate science with technology so that they're learning the scientific process, they're learning how to apply technology in projects, not just in a lecture atmosphere, but working together to create a project, to design a project, to manage a project, and importantly, to complete a project. The engineering aspect comes in. I'm the engineering uh, teacher here at my elementary school, is to get kids an opportunity to have hands-on opportunities to learn about the various areas of engineering. So you may have chemical engineering, computer engineering, you may have architectural engineering, you may have nature or environmental engineering, but all those aspects that school-age children, whether you're talking about from kindergarten on up to the high school level, are not aware of these different areas of engineering because they are not exposed to it and unfortunately in a lot of cases they're not taught it in the schools unless that school is a STEM or STEAM model school. Here at my school, my elementary school, Andrew Robinson Elementary, we're making that transition from a STEAM school to a modeled technology school that embraces STEAM as well. So not only are our teachers dedicated STEAM teachers, we have a dedicated science teacher, we have a dedicated technology teacher, I am the dedicated engineering teacher, we have a de dedicated arts teacher and a dedicated mathematics teacher, also along with the arts goes um, music as well, but that also is combined with the technology that we, hear, that we have here at Andrew Robinson Elementary School. We're a model technology school, so that means that in each school, we, in, excuse me, in each classroom, we have a minimum of three desktop computers, multimedia computers. We also have a printer in each classroom. The teacher has their laptop. They have a document camera. They have a projector. They also have access to a DVD, VTR player. So that way, if there's information that needs to be portrayed up on the smart board, they have the opportunity to do that in each classroom as well as a smart board. So the model of technology is in place and the transition from teachers being lecturers to being a facilitator of learning. So even though they may stand in front of a classroom and give a presentation or a talk or a brief lecture, they're moving from a lecturer type format to a facilitator where the, where the learning is guided. The students are involved in projects. The students are involved in centers. The students are involved in different um, levels of instruction that facilitate their learning modalities. And as we know, children learn differently. There are some children that are auditory learners. There are some children that are visual learners. There are some children that are tactile learners that actually have to put, have to have their hand on the actual uh, project to create the project, to go through the project, to complete the project. And there are children that have to have all those aspects involved in order to really understand the learning that's involved. So technology and STEAM work together to provide a formula or to provide an instructional apparatus or whatever term you feel comfortable with 
to make sure the students are learning, but they, but importantly, it's hands-on instruction. So we have science, we have technology, we have engineering, we have the arts, and we also have the mathematics.